Hi, it's meteorologist Joe Fury in the Subject Mate Weather Center. October coming in as the third warmest for the shoreline, eighth warmest in 116 years across the interior. And we got really lucky last week. We missed a major nor'easter. Halloween was uh, fantastic, a lot better than last year when we had two to six inches of snow the day before. And of course, nine years ago right now, and 10 years ago right now, we were all sitting without power due to Sandy and the big snowstorm. Uh, so November started out great with fantastic weather on uh, Monday as temperatures got up in over 60 in many spots. The average high, by the way, inland's 57 and the average low is 37. And the idea now for the rest of this first week of November, out the door with the jacket, ice scraper, frosty mornings, freeze watches that are out. Uh, now November, uh, the way it's supposed to be, 30s in a lot of spots to start your election day with highs in the low 50s. So it's a good 10 degrees cooler than it was on Monday. And there's a lot more clouds around for election day with a spotty shower in the afternoon and evening. You can see the maps in motion. There's 430 Tuesday afternoon. There are some showers around. Many of you don't get one. Hard freeze. Freeze watches are out into Wednesday morning. Upper 20s to low mid 30s. A lot of frost around early Wednesday. Highs near 50 Wednesday. That's the idea for the rest of the week. Highs near 50. Overnight lows down in the upper 20s, low mid 30s. Uh, so yeah, make sure your heating source is working well. Growing season. And that's going to be over unless you're trying to save something uh, like the mums, maybe. And quickly into the 30s. Look at that by 9 o'clock Wednesday evening. Highs, you know, trying to get around 50. That's the idea for the rest of the week. Thursday, Friday, too. Storm misses going into Friday out to the south and east. There's the next storm along the east coast going for late in the weekend, early next week. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. So the forecast has. You know, again, daytime highs near 50, overnight lows down in the upper 20s, low 30s. Uh, the sun, with the exception of Tuesday afternoon, election day afternoon with the shower, uh, the sun is mainly there. And, uh, well, clocks go back. One hour this coming weekend, we know what that means. Gain some daylight in the morning. Sunrise on Tuesday morning is 726, but by this time next week, it'll be setting at around 445 in the afternoon. All right, Gilson, first thing this morning with the very latest update. Hope you're well. Bye.